Hi. To make a more complex design for a curtain wall, I can use massing and curtain wall pattern based panels to do so. I'll switch to a conceptual mass that I have begun and you'll see that I, that I can uh, pick this surface and divide it. When I divide this surface, I can work uh, with the U and V grid numbers. I can change them. Let's see, 5, 12, 30. I leave it in 10. Yeah, and the same with the V grid, vertical. 30, 10. Also, I can work with the, the patterns that are available in Revit. I can choose arrows, I can choose hexagons, octagons, but in this video we'll choose the triangle flat so I can get a more interesting um, curtain wall design for my building, for my conceptual building. Well, I can change the V grid number to the double 20 so I can get more, maybe 30. Looks better. Okay, I can change it the U grid to 5, the half. So I can see that it's more interesting for me. So, when I do this, I have to not only insert this into my model, but I have to assign a panel here. And that's where the curtain wall pattern based panel gets involved. I will make a simple curtain wall panel. Let's start with the R new family and we'll go straight ahead and get the curtain panel pattern based. I'll open it and you'll see that there's a square pattern. Now I'll pick this blue grid and that's how I can change the patterns available and I'll choose the same pattern that I'm using the conceptual mass and I will make a simple framing so I will use the point element because it has a plane embedded you'll see now I'll pick this point and you see this plane okay in this plane I have to place this circle Okay, you see that? Perfect. I'll change the size to 100 millimeters. And then pick the circle and the, the, and the reference lines so I can create the form. I can apply materials and work a little bit more, but I'll use this. I'll save it. Yes, triangle panel, and then load it into project. Since I have two files opened, I'll go to the massing. Okay, and you'll see that in the families tree now we have curtain panels and the triangle panel that I have saved with only one type of. Now, I will pick this surface and I'll go to the pattern list. And there it is, my triangle panel. That's okay. I'll save it and go to the project. Yeah, previously, I had the um, I have placed a uh, massing, I'll show it, show mass, 
you see there is a mass behind and that was the same file that I used for this so I will load it into project in the main project file override the existing version and you see that I have this curtain wall I go to a 3D view so you see better and I might like this combination but this time I don't want this curtain wall again so I'll delete it and I see that there is a little difference of height here I'll solve it in the massing I know that in the south elevation the level 7 is at 90 meters so I'll make the appropriate changes in my mass um, previously I had constrained the height of this mass to this level so I just have to change to 90 meters the height it should adjust automatically that's nice save and load into project right in the elevation I'll see that my new curtain wall adjusts to the new height that's a basic way to work with curtain wall pattern based panels and conceptual massing for a building in a project. That's it. Thanks for watching.